Julius Caesar, born in Rome in 100 BC, arrived in a city that had seen its fair share of political turmoil and military conquests. The Roman Republic, established centuries earlier, had undergone numerous transformations and faced internal and external challenges. It was in this tumultuous environment that Caesar's journey unfolded. Caesar's family. The Julii belonged to the Roman aristocracy, but they had fallen on somewhat hard times. Despite this, young Julius displayed remarkable promise from an early age. His education in rhetoric, philosophy, and the arts was a testament to his family's commitment to restoring their prominence. These formative years instilled in him a love for learning and an appreciation for the power of words, a skill that would serve him well in his future political career. As Caesar entered adulthood, he was thrust into the intricate web of Roman politics. The Republic was characterized by a volatile mix of corruption, factionalism, and shifting alliances. Caesar, with his natural charisma and intelligence, quickly learned to navigate these treacherous waters. Crucial to Caesar's political rise were his associations with influential figures like Gaius Marius and Lucius Cornelius. Sulla. Marius was a military general and popular leader, while Sulla was a seasoned politician who held the office of dictator. These relationships provided Caesar with valuable insights into the dynamics of power and the complexities of Roman governance. In 83 BC, Rome was embroiled in a civil war known as the Sullen Civil War, as Sulla sought to consolidate his authority. Caesar, at this point, found himself in a precarious position. He was related to Marius through marriage and was targeted by Sulla's regime. In a remarkable act of political survival, Caesar chose to lie low, which may have saved his life, but left him politically marginalized for a time. By the late 70s BC, the situation in Rome had stabilized and Caesar re-emerged on the political scene. He served in various roles, including Quaestor and Aedile, gaining valuable administrative experience and building a reputation for competence. It was during this period that Caesar married Cornelia, the daughter of a prominent figure, further cementing his political alliances. However, his political career faced significant headwinds. He found himself at odds with the traditionalist senatorial faction known as the Optimates who were suspicious of his ambitions and popular support among the plebeians. Nevertheless, Caesar's election as Pontifex Maximus, the high priest of Rome in 63 BC, was a significant milestone. It not only enhanced his religious authority, but also provided a platform for expanding his political network. Caesar's leadership was tested when the Catiline Conspiracy emerged in 63 BC. A group of disaffected nobles in debt, ridden individuals led by Lucius Sergius Catalina, conspired to overthrow the Roman government Caesar played a pivotal role in thwarting the plot, demonstrating his ability to navigate complex political situations. 
He supported the Senate's efforts to suppress the rebellion while advocating for clemency for some of Catiline's followers, striking a delicate balance that maintained his popularity and political influence. In 60 BC, Caesar formed a momentous alliance with Gnaeus Pompeius, Magnus Pompey, and Marcus Licinius Crassus, creating the first triumvirate. This informal coalition aimed to consolidate their influence over Roman politics. Caesar's role within the triumvirate was to secure the consulship, the Republic's highest office. The triumvirate's success in achieving their goals was not without tensions simmering beneath the surface. Pompey, fresh from military victories in the East, sought recognition and land for his veterans. Crassus, on the other hand, aspired to military glory and an opportunity to command an army in the East. Caesar, as consul in 59 BC, skillfully managed these competing interests. He passed legislation favorable to both Pompey and Crassus while securing his own military command over the provinces of Cisalpine Gaul, Transalpine Gaul, and Illyricum. Julius Caesar's tenure as governor of Gaul from 58 BC to 50 BC would prove to be a defining chapter of his life. What began as a seemingly routine administrative role transformed into a monumental military campaign that would shape his legacy. Gaul, a vast region comprising modern-day France, Belgium, Switzerland, and parts of Italy was home to numerous Gallic tribes. Caesar's leadership and military prowess would be put to the test as he faced formidable adversaries, including the Helvetii, the Suebi, and the famous chieftain Vercingetorix. Caesar's campaigns in Gaul were marked by a series of pitched battles, daring river crossings, and brilliant tactical maneuvers. His legions, known for their discipline and loyalty, formed the backbone of his, his military successes. One of the most significant battles of the Gallic Wars was the Battle of Alesia in 52 BC. Caesar's forces were besieged by Vercingetorix's confederation of Gallic tribes. In a remarkable display of engineering skill, Caesar constructed an elaborate system of fortifications to withstand both external attacks and the Roman relief force. After a prolonged siege, Caesar emerged victorious at Alesia and Vercingetorix surrendered. This victory not only solidified Caesar's reputation as an exceptional military commander, but also provided him with substantial wealth and a devoted army. As Caesar's military successes in Gaul grew, so did his political influence and ambition. However, his meteoric rise began to raise concerns among his rivals in Rome, particularly the conservative faction of the Senate. In 49 BC, the Senate, fearing Caesar's growing power, ordered him to disband his army and return to Rome as a private citizen. This directive presented Caesar with a dilemma. Comply with the Senate's orders and risk political oblivion or defy them, potentially plunging Rome into a devastating civil war on a fateful day in 49 BC. 
Julius Caesar made a historic decision. He led his army across the Rubicon River, symbolizing an irrevocable choice and signaling the beginning of a civil conflict that would reshape Roman history. The civil war pitted Caesar against Gnaeus Pompeius Magnus. Pompey, a former ally turned rival, Pompey enjoyed the support of many senators who saw him as the defender of traditional Roman Republican values. The conflict escalated swiftly, culminating in the Battle of Pharsalus in 48 BC. Despite being outnumbered, Caesar's tactical brilliance and the loyalty of his troops secured a resounding victory, compelling Pompey to flee to Egypt, where he would meet a tragic end, effectively marking the conclusion of his political career and leaving Caesar as Rome's preeminent figure. While victorious, Caesar displayed an unexpected degree of clemency. He pardoned many of his former adversaries and sought to restore order to Rome. However, his consolidation of power encountered formidable challenges. Following Pompey's defeat, Julius Caesar assumed the role of dictator, initially meant to address immediate crises, but extended for an extended period, granting him unprecedented authority. As dictator, Caesar embarked on sweeping reforms aimed at addressing long-standing issues within the Republic. His reforms sought to alleviate urban poverty, distribute land to veterans, and extend Roman citizenship to a more extensive portion of the provincial population. However, his centralization of power inevitably diminished the Senate's authority, causing tensions with those who prized the traditional Republican system of checks and balances. A group of senators, including prominent figures like Marcus Junius Brutus and Gaius Cassius Longinus, grew increasingly uneasy with Caesar's consolidation of power in a fateful conspiracy. They resolved to assassinate him, believing that his death would pave the way for the restoration of the traditional Republican order. On the Ides of March in 44 BC, Julius Caesar entered the Senate chamber, unaware of the conspiracy that awaited him. As he took his seat, the conspirators closed in, attacking him with daggers. Caesar, the formidable general and statesman, fell victim to their assassin's blades, marking a tragic end to his life. Caesar's assassination once again threw Rome into turmoil. His death was intended to restore the Republic, but it instead ignited a power struggle among his loyal supporters, the Senate and the conspirators. Among Caesar's supporters, his adopted heir Gaius Octavius Thorinus, Octavian, rose to prominence, aligning with Mark Antony, a loyal friend and supporter of Caesar, they formed an alliance to avenge Caesar's death and preserve his legacy. Tensions escalated into full-blown civil wars between Octavian and Antony versus the Senate led by figures like Brutus and Cassius. These conflicts culminated in the decisive Battle of Philippi in 42 BC, where Octavian and Antony emerged victorious. The defeat of the conspirators and their allies marked the end of the traditional Roman Republic. Octavian and Antony 
initially shared power, but soon became bitter rivals. This rivalry culminated in the famous Battle of Actium in 31 BC, where Octavian's forces defeated Antony and Cleopatra, effectively ending the Roman Republic and ushering in the Roman Empire. Julius Caesar's legacy endures through the ages. His military conquests, political reforms, and tragic demise have inspired countless works of literature, art, and scholarship. His name is synonymous with ambition, power, and betrayal. However, his most enduring legacy is the transformation of Rome from a republic into an empire. Under Augustus and his successors, the Roman Empire reached unprecedented heights, leaving an indelible mark on Western civilization. Roman law, language, architecture, and culture continue to shape modern society. The enduring influence of Rome can be seen in government buildings, modern city structures, and the art and literature that inspire and inform us today. In conclusion, Julius Caesar's life is a compelling narrative of ambition, triumph, and tragedy. His journey from a privileged youth to a military conqueror, and ultimately, the heart of a tumultuous republic, turned. Empire reflects the complexities of human nature and the indomitable spirit of a leader whose name is forever etched in the annals of time. His charisma, brilliance, and audacity continue to captivate the imagination, serving as a timeless reminder of those who dare to reshape the world.